नेपाल टेलिकम अब अमेरिका र क्यानाडा प्रति मिनेट रु 1 रुपैयाँ 75 पैसा मात्र एमटीवी समाचारको साथमा CA committee's list of singular candidacy for chair political dialogue committee to hold election for chair today. One minor charged to death in a fire at Tatmatola Brahmapuri VDC in Rothod. Over 30 houses got it. And US accuses Russia of deception and destabilization in eastern Ukraine, warning of further sanctions unless Moscow defuses the crisis from the National Front. Chairpersons in four of the five Constituent Assembly Committees have been appointed unopposed. This follows political parties first a consensus on candidacy to the positions. The election for the Chair of Constitutional Political Dialogue and Consensus Committee for which the parties failed to build consensus is scheduled to be held today. Unified Maoist leader Dr. Bhavram Bhatrai and Ram Kumar Rai of Kumuwa National Party which leads the dissent French parties are vying for the position. The lawmakers representing different parties registered their candidacies for the chairman positions of five different CA committees yesterday. Congress leader Krishna Sitola registered his nomination for the chair of Constitution Draft Committee, whereas UML's Bishnu Podil filed candidacy for the chair of Constitution Records Review and Determination Committee. Forum Nepal's Lakshmi Choudhury registered her candidacy for the chair of Ability Enhancement Committee. For the, chair of civil, for the Chair of Civil Relation and Constitution Advisory Committee, CPN Unified's CPN United's Pramila Rana has filed her candidacy. All the candidates pledged to expedite the constitution writing process. In the meantime, 13 political parties drew CA chairman's attention over what they said wrong procedure to elect the chair of the CA committees. CA Chairman Subhas Nemong has urged the government and the political parties to nominate the remaining 26 lawmakers at the earliest to expedite the constitution writing process. Nemong told reporters in Biratnagar that the nomination of 26 lawmakers has not been possible because of the government's negligence. Nemong claimed that the CA will deliver the constitution within a year as the new timeline has been designed with the commitment to honor the past agreement. संविधान बनने सुनिश्चित भाई कुछ 26 जाना को मानो ने सारे ही डिलो भाई शक्य कुछ यो ठीक हुआ ही ना इल्ले गंभीर प्रश्न आ रूठी रहे कुछ तेज़ इल्ले सरकार ला अविलंब 26 जाना को मानो ने गर्नो को लागी मां आग्रह कर चु the country observed Lok Tantra Day or the Democracy Day yesterday to mark the success of the People's Movement Second. The day holds special significance in the political history of Nepal as on this very day, 19th day of nationwide movement abolished the century-old institution of monarchy. Then King Ganendra reinstated the dissolved House of Representatives following days of strict protest. Nepali people ended the dynastic rule and set up the people's rule called Lok Tantra by virtue of the alliance of then seven political parties and the then warring CP and Maoist. Over two dozen pro-democracy fighters sacrificed their lives and thousands were injured when the royal regime attempted to suppress people's peaceful demonstrations. Then after Nepal was transformed from then after Nepal was transformed from a monarchical state to a federal democratic republic and secularism was introduced. The election to constituent assembly was 
was held in 2006 to institutionalize all the gains of the hard-fought struggle. But even after adding two years to its tenure, the Constituent Assembly was dissolved in 2012 without promulgating the new constitution. Then after, the agreement between major political parties led to formation of an interim election council under the chairmanship of Chief Justice Kilaraj Regmi. The council, as per its mandate, held second Constituent Assembly election in November 2013, as a result of which a new Constituent Assembly is formed. Political parties have been reiterating that this time they will succeed in promulgating constitution within a year as per their commitment made to the people. Well, here we go for a short break. On the other side of NTV News, we have more updates from the... Welcome again. Now we continue with the other updates from the National Front. One miner died on a massive fire that broke out at Ward No. 8 Tatmatola Brahmapuri VDC in Rautahat yesterday. More than 30 houses were gutted in the fire. Three-year-old Chris Gosai died in the fire while his grandmother Rajasi Devi had sustained burn injuries. Locals along with the firefighters from the district headquarters, Nepal Police, Armed Police Force and Nepal Army personnel fought for more than four hours to take the fire under control. The cause of the fire fire that all of a sudden engulfed the entire neighborhood is still unclear. Rautahat police said more than 200 people from the 30 houses have been displaced by the fire. Old Malaria Day is being marked today, aiming to raise awareness about the disease. The theme of the day is invest in the future, defeat malaria. Mostly people of Asia, Africa and Latin America are affected by the disease by the disease. Experts say some of the Nepalese workers abroad are also at the risk of incurable malaria. In the meantime, the government has urged the people to give special care to their hygiene and surrounding ambience to prevent oneself from the malaria infection. A program was organized at Department of Health Service to mark the World Malaria Day. On the occasion, it was informed Nepal has attained a significant achievement in controlling the disease. Furthermore, it was also said around 1,000 people were infected with the disease in the country, with the additional 1,000 were being infected during their foreign stay. Speaking on the occasion, Chief of Epidemiology and Disease Control Division, Dr. Baburam Marasini, stressed that water pits around the home has to be covered and sanitation maintained to lessen the risk of malaria, which is caused by the mosquito bite. It is said globally Globally, 3.3 billion people in 106 countries are at the risk of the disease. Residents in Cheda Bazar area of Jazarkot are compelled to consume unsafe high drinking water from the nearby Vary River since years now. This is owing to absence of proper drinking water supply system in the Bazar area. The Bazar is located in the midst of Chinchu Jazarkot Road adjoining Surkhed. Even commuters passing through the area are forced to consume the dirty waters. Locals have been unable to manage for a supply system as the geology of the area bars to and lacks any groundwater source. Government buildings and schools in Ilam are installed with rainwater harvest technology owing to water crisis there. The technology brought to use by rainwater harvest project aims to provide drinking water to civil service seekers and ease the water severe water crowds in Ilam Municipal. Government entities of District Administration Office, District Police Headquarters, Ilam Metropolis, Veterinary Dispensary, including other higher secondary school and Ilam Bidya Mandir have seen installment of rainwater harvest technology. It is said such technology will contribute to environmental conservation, sanitation and ease the water scarcity. Well, here we go for next break. Right after the break, we'll be checking the updates from the International Front. Hello again now, the International Updates. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry has accused Russia of distraction, deception and destabilization 
in eastern Ukraine in a strongly worded statement. He called on Moscow to help defuse the crisis there or face further sanctions. Earlier, Russia called on the U.S. to make Kiev stop raids on pro-Moscow separatists in the east. Russia ordered new military exercises on its border following the raids, growing condemnation from Ukraine. Kerry was speaking amid an increasing war of wars between the U.S. and Russia over events in eastern Ukraine. U.S. President Barack Obama is in Seoul for a visit that comes amid concern that North Korea may be planning a fourth nuclear test. Obama, who arrived from Japan on the second stop of his Asian tour, will hold talks with South Korean leader Park Gyon hai Their talks are set to focus on North Korea following reports of activity at the Pyongyang Pyongyang nuclear test site. Obama is also expected to express grief over last week's ferry disaster. More than 300 people were killed or remain missing after the Seoul passenger ferry sank up South Korea in a tragedy that has shocked the nation. Now to sports. Indian golfer Sahamin Khan has taken solo lead in the Surya Nepal Masters Golf Championship. On the second day of the championship at Gokarna Golf Resort, Khan carded 5 under 67 to take the pole position. Angat Sima, the leader of the first day, came down to the second place. Defending champion Nepal's Sibaram Shrestha with a total of 5 under 139 dropped to 11th position. Another Nepali golfer, Sanjay Lama, meanwhile climbed to 8th spot in the standing playing 2 under 70 on the second day. Old Nepal Football Association ANFA has announced to increase the prize money of the National League Football Tournament to 10 million rupees. ANFA, organizing a press conference, said the board meeting decided to increase the prize by 2.5 million rupees. As per the decision, the National League will be held under home and away bases, including six teams from the capital and six teams from outside. Meanwhile, the Martyrs Memorial League next season will not be held owing to the renovation work at the Dasarath Stadium. Of the total 12 teams, the participants include top 8 A division clubs and 4 the teams from the district. NFA President Ganesh Thapa on the recent agitation launched by some A division clubs and two vice presidents said the board has asked clarification from them. A giddy Michael Phelps qualified fastest for the 100-meter butterfly final on Thursday in his first competition since retiring after the 2012 London Olympics. The 28-year-old swimmer was second at the turn and came on down the stretch to win his heat in 52.84 seconds at the Arena Grand Prix easily advancing to the evening final. Friend and rival Ryan Loste was second quickest, winning his heat in 52.94 seconds. Joining them in the eight-man final will be Olympian Jason Dunford of Kenya and two-time Olympian Albert Subirat of Venezuela. Phillips and Loste joked with each other behind the starting blocks when Phillips came out early for his heat, which came after Loste's. Well, that's all we have in this bullet.